Well, hello, friends. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. And I'm going to be talking about this a lot more in my show in a couple hours, from 3 to 5 Eastern. We're going to be talking and discussing this. I could, You know what? I, I could be completely wrong about what I'm about to say here. You guys got to help me out, okay? I'm an old school guy. I, I, I've seen a lot of hockey in my day, and I've seen the evolution of hockey and where it's going, and a lot of things I think are great about it, and there are some things that I'm concerned about. And this hit that happened on Shifley yesterday has me concerned, but I could be wrongfully concerned. I, I was first going to come in here and say, oh, this is just ridiculous, all of that kind of stuff like that. But I, you know, I started to realize that you know, the game has changed, and I could be wrong. You tell me what you think in the comment section about what I'm about to say. We're going to look at the hit. I'm going to go over the things that I know about hockey, what's in my, what, what I grew up with, what I understood, which was novice type stuff. Like what I mean that you learned in novice or in whatever you called it in hockey when you were uh, kids, from the time you're kids. Okay. I got it here right now uh, in a spot where just before the hit, okay, this, this is what you're looking at right now. I'm going to go back. We're going to look at the uh, whole thing. But remember this, okay? And by the way, subscribe, hit the bell so you can come on my live, uh, my live stream 3 to 5, NHL Pearls of Wisdom, five days a week, Monday to Friday. It's freaking fun. We enjoy We have a great time. I listen to it at work or whatever. And we talk about stuff like this. We talk about everything hockey. In this spot where Evans is right now, notice Evans. He has He's looking at the puck here, okay? This head, look at, you see Shifley right here? He's right here. Wait, why? Now, in novice, when I when you're growing up, when I'm when I'm growing up, I don't know what they're teaching kids today, but when I'm growing up, the first if you're going to go in behind the net like this, you got to look up to see who's coming before you decide to come out and put it in an empty net. You notice how many seconds are left? Fifty-eight seconds. It's a one-goal game, man. This, this oh the play didn't matter. That's what I'm hearing from the media, the public, the media. This was uh, the play didn't matter. You know, some people are saying it was already over. It's not already over. It's not. You still got 58 seconds if you can stop him here. Now the other thing people are saying is he should just go for the puck. No, you're taught from the time you're a kid. You defend your net. He's going towards that player, expecting him to come out. Now, another thing Shifley is expecting him to do is know that he's coming. If you don't think that a player is going to be coming at you to stop you and hit you in this spot, I don't know what you've been playing for the last 15 years. I don't know what anybody's been telling you, but you uh, have you been playing in Europe? This is what Craig Button had to say about it. I should, I, if I knew how to do all of this stuff. Craig Button says, we need IHF rules here where if you're not, if the player is not engaged with the other player, you can't hit him. So basically he's saying here, Shifley's got to come down the ice and wave his stick and hope he can stop the, the puck from going into the, the net. And if not, oh, well, you tried. I don't know. That's not the hockey I grew up in. But let's go back. Let's look at this again. I've looked at this over and over and over again. Okay? So here we go. Stop. He's still not looking up. He's still not looking. He's looking to look at. He's looking directly at the ice. Can you? He's looking directly at the ice. He still hasn't looked up yet. He's around the corner. If you want to tuck that in, you look up, you see Shifley coming, and you stay kind of behind the net, and you try to get it in that way. And they say, well, his job is to score. Okay, defending the front of the net. 
Why do defensemen knock people on their ass when they come back into the zone to try to get to, first of all, they want to stop the goal, but they also want players to remember that it's difficult to come in front of the net against my team. So that prevents goals too. Psychologically, you go, I got to be wary because somebody's going to smoke me here. And that's what's going to happen. Now, was Shifley charging here? Okay. Did Shifley charge here? Well, by the letter of the rules, we'll go back again. Let's go back again here. By the letter of the rules. This... He stopped. He stopped. He stopped his stride. He realized that he wasn't going to get his stick there. So he tried to take the man to prevent him from getting the goal. Now, you can make a case that he could have let up a little bit. He could have went down a little bit. But the truth is, and I think we'll find here, he did not. He did not hit him in the head. He hit him in the body. This Evans was not prepared for this hit. Now, I don't have the time to find reams and reams and reams of uh, video that show you what happens when a player looks up and sees people coming and realizes, okay, I got to try to get this in and know that this guy is coming. But it happens all the time. And Shifley expected him, rightful, rightfully, he expected him to have looked to see if there was somebody coming. Yeah, it's a charge. It's a charge. But it's mostly a charge. We'll look at it one more time. It's mostly a charge because Evans doesn't pay attention to the fact that anybody's coming at him. And by the time he's hit, he's a wet noodle lying on the frickin' ice. There's got to be some... I, I'm very interested to see. He's, he's going to have to go talk to the, to the guys upstairs. They're going to have a lot of pressure on them because the guy got injured. They're trying to take these kind of injuries out of the play. But is anybody going to talk to Evans about this? I'll tell you, there, there was another thing that happened. They talked, uh, uh, Perry, um, let, me, let me look it up here. Perry. Juan Shifley. Please, uh, please uh, excuse me. I, I'm not very, well, uh, let's see. If we can get it. There we go. Okay, let's listen to what Perry said here. It wasn't an elbow, by the way. It wasn't an elbow. Let's, t let's listen to what he said. He said, I'm not here to comment on that. We'll let the league to deal with it. It was it was hard to watch. I'm t look at how uncomfortable Perry looks here. Look at how uncomfortable Perry looks here. You know why? Because he knows that the kid did not was not responsible in that situation. Let's go back to the beginning of this. We're here to support them. We're here to support them. That's it. See, 
you look at it. He did not say it's horrible, it's brutal what Shifley did or anything like that. Go look at that yourself. He said nothing of that nature. You know why? Because he knows the kid did not take responsibility for himself when he came around that ice. He said, I don't want to talk about it. I'll let the league deal with it. Now, you look at the other guys, Kokaniemi, it was brutal. It's disrespectful to the player, all of that stuff like that. A veteran like this who plays like Perry knows what you're supposed to do when you grab a puck behind the net like that. He's not going to say it's brutal. He didn't talk down Shifley. He didn't say anything like that for a reason, because the kid didn't take care of himself. He'll be telling him that later. When Evans is back and everything's fine, he's going through his concussion, he's going to tell him, you, you can't do that, dude. you got to be prepared for a hit in that situation. And the people, I'm hearing the media out there that is calling for Shifley's head in this situation and all of that kind of stuff like that, and not once talking about how this kid did not take responsibility for himself. Where is this going? Craig Button saying we need IHF rules and all it no we don't have you I'm watching IHF right now it's boring as heck you don't need IHF rules you need players that take responsibility for themselves if Evans looks up and sees Shifley coming and you can see he's going to do something different in that spot he's not going to do that wraparound he knows that there's somebody coming he might go he might go there and go back the other direction and wrap it around that way. And is less likely he's going to score there? Yes. That's why you protect your net like that. You don't want people just think that just going around doing a little pirouette and scoring on your net. Are you freaking kidding me? Anyways, I don't know. We'll see what Shifley gets. I, 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 he, I wouldn't even give him a game. I, I And if it was me, I'd be out there saying, you know, if George Paros, who also played in this situation, is would like to say, I'm sure, we got to teach our guys to be responsible and know that if a player is coming in certain situations like this. That's what I got to say about it. Hit the subscribe if you agree or disagree. Comment down there what you think. And uh, we'll get more of this in my live later on. Thanks for listening. Have a great day. Okay, bye.